folks, Pazmir, and I am here today to help you change a slot and string for a particular superstar using X-Packer. Now this can be used to move slots to your own custom slot or used to perhaps alter a 2K15 pack that you ported over using my other tutorial if you want to use X-Packer to change these particular files. So I'm going to open up X-Packer right here. This is X-Packer 2016. Unfortunately, uh, X-Packer, I believe it was 9, which was for uh, 2K15, will not work for this, as you need some of the uh, memory addresses for 2K15. First up here, we're going to open up a PC pack file, and then pack file, or control Q. And I'm going to go to my desktop here. This is uh, Ronda Rousey from Brave Bird from last year. So this right here, the pack file here, is 1... One zero zero two. Now, what those numbers mean is it is the pack file one ten, and then zero two is the in ring attire, uh, and is the first attire. If it was one two, it would be the second attire and the in ring attire. If it was oh four, it would be the entrance attire, and uh, one four would be the second attire entrance attire. And that that's just sort of how it builds out. If you have multiple files there, that's what you know what you're looking at. Now, I want to move Ronda Rousey from the slot she was in before, in 2K15, over to this 506 slot. So I'm going to just go back over to Xpacker here, right-click on the file name, and you can have enter a patch name. And now I want it to be the entrance. I want it to be the entrance and in-ring attire. If there is no entrance attire in the pack file, you don't have to worry about it. It just needs a 0-2 file in order to run. So I want this to be 506. So I need to backspace a few spaces and then type 506. Hit OK. Patch renamed successfully. So now this should refresh, and now we've got that new file name right there. And now this, you can take this, I'm gonna, well, let's close out of this just for clarity's sake. Now I'm going to rename this, and this is going to be 506, and I'm gonna personally add on a underscore Rhonda underscore Rousey. Uh, the game doesn't generally care about the outside pack file name. It ca cares about the patch name with a CH on the end. So now let's go over to the POFOs. We're going to go back and open up X-Packer once again. Let me get it a decent size. Open PC save file. We're going to go to WWE2K16 PC save file. Wrestler info. And now here you're going to want to go to your remote folder. For those that do not know it, it is C, Steam, User Data, Your User ID, which will be different for everyone, 385730, and then Remote. And then you're going to want to open the main body 0000 file. Now, once again, we're going to install Ronda in slot 506. So I'm going to scroll down until I find slot 506. Now I'm going to inject the POFO. Now we're going to edit it after we inject it. So I just injected it successfully. And now in order to inject that, or rather, in order to adjust that, I'm going to go back and scroll down to that 506, which is actually 110 right now. So you want to double click on it, and here you will get some of the numbers in here. You'll get the wrestler ID number, which is the main one that you want to change. So that's what you want to change to the 506. I'm going to change this to 506. I want the DLC pack to be zero, because I don't want her to be DLC if I can help it. Uh, weight is... Mm, let's go with light. Playable, yes. A face on Raw. She's a female. And now these are your string files. Now I'm going to go over to the string here. I have my little string table. And then I'm going to be finding out 
Rhonda. All right. So that is 6A1C. Now in X Packer, you do not have to uh, you do not have to flip these around here. So 6A1C. 6A1C. Oh, I mistyped that. Might be helpful to actually type it in capitals. At least that's what I'm used to seeing. Is uh, hex doesn't really have lowercase letters. So we've got the string files renamed. We have double checked all of our information here. We've changed the menu slot number and the wrestler ID number. Now we want to hit inject. And now she she will be refreshed and we can scroll down back down to 506 and we should have her there all right there she is all right now we're going to file open WWE 2k16 PC save file moveset or control J if you want the shortcut for wrestler info it was control U so once again going to go to my remote folder and open up my main body and let that load up and then we're gonna go down to slot 506 and inject the moveset file that's on our desktop now it having a different slot name doesn't matter uh, so this the there are no real slot references inside the moveset file so you don't have to really worry about that so if you, in fact, you, if you double click on it, you'll have some entrance information. And if this is a, actually a moveset from WWE 2K15, I want to make sure you guys add this one little bit because it will help you out porting over music. And that will be adding an extra zero on this entrance music. I just added it. It was originally 10,000. This, uh... The Trons are still this value, but the entrance music is now in the 100s scale, or the 1000s scale, rather. So we're going to stick with this and hit inject, and that's saved in there. Now if you want to actually take it back out, you can extract it there. Or, I extracted the wrong moveset there, I want to go back down to... Uh, 506 and extract that slot 506 moveset save that there so I can send it off to someone else I'm actually gonna go back and open the wrestler info once again all right so I went back and checked and I did not in fact actually save the changes into memory or export it I would need to inject the pofo file once again go back and make these changes once again and in order to save these changes you'll need to go and actually hit the save changes to memory let's make these changes real quick all right so I edited all this information once again and now we're gonna hit inject file injected successfully now we want to go back and make sure to grab this 506 and extract it and now I'm going to save changes to memory and that'll permanently save it to my game. Or rather, it won't. It will inject it into the game's memory. Then hit my WWE Edit Superstars. Adam Rose. And then I can hit Accept. And I should have a Ronda Rousey in here now. She doesn't have a moveset because I did not inject the moveset, which you should do. Uh, this is more for editing the files themselves. So yeah, Ronda Rousey right there. And now I believe if we play with her, she should have a default moveset if we don't use the entrance. I'm going to quickly inject the moveset once again. One other thing that I have to do is make sure to install the pack file that we edited into the CH folder. So now that's in there. So now we should be able to play as Ronda Rousey. 
All right, folks. As you can see here, Ronda Rousey is going to be making her way down to the ring. Now, this one I have not seen load into the game yet. It seems like she's not having issues, which is pretty nice here. Some mods from 2K15 might have issues here and there, as you might have seen in my other videos. However, this was the install tutorial for WWE 2K16 using an edited slot and an edited string using X-Packer. Now I've also showed how to do this using HXD. You also want to perhaps watch the clean installs of X-Packer and uh, Cheat Engine to get a better idea of some of the steps that I skipped in this video. Uh, this was mainly trying to change the slot and change the string references for those that want to change the files. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Also, during this video there was a bit of a crash and that was uh, a result of me not moving the pack file into the folder uh, when I loaded the game at first. Sometimes the game allows you to and sometimes the game does not. So take a grain of salt with that when you're installing some superstars here. Make sure to save often. And back up your save as well as the save in WWE 2K16 is a bit temperamental. As always folks, if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like or subscribe for more. This has been Pausum and I thank you for your time.